Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and I've got something totally random today. I've got a expansion for God Tier. So God Tier is Steamforge Games kind of MOBA style team versus team champion and grunts versus each other free-for-all arena based game. I don't know what the proper terminology is. I don't really care to be honest, but I have heard good things about it, and they've continued to put out these releases. One box has everything you need. Now, if I remember correctly, you need to have three teams in order to play like a traditional full-sized game. So I would need two more. Will I get two more? Who knows? I don't know. I will say, though, I liked the look of the main guy here. This is Skullbreaker the Dragon Slayer and the Tooth Bearers. You must be Skullbreaker. And for those who can't tell why I picked this box up, it's... It's because he's got this massive, ridiculous sword, but I am curious about it. I think I opened these before I... I'm assuming that's how they were. Is there anything under this? No. Okay. What does a god-tier expansion set consist of? Let us find out. So here is one of our tooth bearers. And, you know, for the most part, i got to say, Steamforge's stuff, since they've gone the all-plastic route, I personally really miss their resin. I had a lot of fun with the ones that I got. It's pretty good. I haven't heard nice things about a lot of their board games, unfortunately. But I have heard a lot of good stuff about this game. Maybe it's a simpler rule set? I'm not sure. I mean, I've I've enjoyed my time with... What's it called? Warhammer Underworlds, which seems to have a similar setup. You know, you have like your powered up versions of everybody. I do like the fact that they seem to be well sculpted all the way around. I know sometimes we seem to get models that people forget exist in three dimensions. I'm like, I'm looking at you, Mantic. Now, even the grunts are a little bit bigger. Something to keep in mind here. If you were to use them for other wargaming purposes. I mean, the fact that it's a little bit bigger than a Mantic Rift Forged Orc. I don't know if that's the best judge of here. A Conquest Wadroon should be a better size indicator in they fit nicely in between those two extremes, so if you were to use them in other tabletop stuff, I think they would work quite well. And even for being grunts, they look pretty decent. There is quite a bit of detail here with the chains, bones, straps, more bones. And probably the color of the plastic isn't really doing it any favors in terms of filming. Big club for the club club. More chains and bones on it. I think these are like goals or objective tokens. And even if they're not, they'd make really good goal or objective tokens for whatever your game of choice is. Looks to be about a 20 millimeter base. Yes. Will I actually measure? No. Let's get to the real star of the show here. What did I say his name was? Skullbreaker? He's big. It is Skullbreaker. Like, really stinking big. And that's okay. He should be. He's a boss guy. And one of the things that's noticeable about... The hero units in God Tier is that they are quite large in comparison to all their cronies, but even so, the detail is quite nice there. And I think this guy's probably going to be a lot of fun to paint. I, I, I mean, I love that sword. This is released before they had the Monster Hunter license. So, I mean, instantly I thought of, you know, like those bone swords. But I just, I like the patchworkness of his gear. There's holes, there's layers, there's stitches, there's bandages, there's like these bracelets on his arms. There's a lot going on. He just looks impressive. 
And every now and then, you know, I'll come across models for board games that just really grab me. Uh, Darklight Memento Mori really grabbed my attention with their stuff. Sadly, stupidly, uh, I traded the game off, but I did keep the boss pack, and I've painted most of them at one point or another. Maybe I'll have to bust those out at some point and show them off for like a miniature of the moment thing that I haven't done in like three years or so. But, you know, I gotta say, this really impresses me to the point that I honestly will probably consider picking up some more of these. They are also incredibly much more reasonably priced than a lot of the other stuff that Steamforged has put out. So one of these boxes was like, I got this for under 20 bucks in comparison to what... I don't even know how much any of the expansion packs for their various games are at this point. I don't know where I was going with that idea. There was something I was thinking of that they've made. Not not Guild Ball. I wasn't thinking of Guild Ball. But those would have been about 30 plus. Well, I was going to say, oh, uh, Warhammer Underworlds, you know? This is an incredibly inexpensive option in comparison. Obviously, with the Warhammer Underworld stuff... You're going to have to paint it, you're going to have to build it, and you're going to have to have it play within GW's Hobbyverse. But, I don't know, if you're more inclined to just grab interesting looking figures and put them into various gaming scenarios, I don't think you can go wrong with these guys. So like I said, uh, much more reasonably priced for these expansions than some of their current competitors can't say a lot about the game yet hopefully i can in the future and i gotta say looks like a fun one so keep your eyes peeled hopefully we will see him painted on this channel in the near future and if you don't mind the size in comparison to other stuff out there i think these are going to be fun figures to have so with that said then i just keep grabbing these wadroon figures for i'm like looking around for some gw orcs i don't have anything sorry here i have a gw ogre that's as close as we're going to get today. And even he's dwarfed by this guy. But I think it'll be a fun painting project. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you guys have any thoughts, suggestions, or ideas about God Tier and whether or not I should start looking into it, by all means, please share them with me. And if you think that's something I should do, then. So with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. And we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.